Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm just going to do a quick video, kind of be the last one on the Route 6 series, so I kind of just want to blow through it pretty quick. Uh, but the newest packet, the newest packet's got um, minor chords, uh, dominant 7 chords, and a couple of diminished shapes too. I might be missing something. But I just want to run through uh, how I think about it. So let's, so we're in open D, 7th fret again, so it's A major, that'll be the example, or A, I should say, because we'll be in A minor. Um, the first one I'll show students, uh, it's the same one uh, essentially from the slide lesson, but if this is the major shape, you're going to want to take your first finger and put it on the sixth fret of the third string, and then you can fill in those if you want. I like to curve my thumb over and get it. Obviously in this key, you got that's an open string too. Um, and that's the first major shape we'll show because it's kind of just your basic minor. Or sometimes I do it like that. There, we can get the minor seven like this. It's all in the packet. Um, the other real common minor seven shape I'll use is so if you put your finger on seventh fret of low D string and then bar with your fourth finger, um, the tenth fret for the uh, second, third, and fourth string. You can grab the high one too if you want. like my go-to minor shapes um, you could stretch and get a six too uh, you can stretch and get a nine. so it's really once you get those scales down the ones in the packet you'll start seeing where all these chord tones are and you can kind of just start making your own shapes or whatever is comfortable for you yeah, the packet includes most of my go-to ones. Um, cool. Uh, you can also get a six down here if you have a, enough of a stretch. It's I like that one. It's not easy for my uh, my hands anyway. Maybe you can do it. Um, cool. And then so for dominant shapes, uh, we kind of look at it the same way I looked at the major chords. So. You can get a bunch of the chord tones this side of barring with your first finger, or you can get them on this side too. So uh, the first one, just simple, just put your pinky down on the dominant seven on the tenth fret, and then you can get the nine up here too if you want, flat nine, a sharp nine. It's all right there. So like I said, get these scales down, and then you start seeing where these chord tones are, and you start adding them to your, your chords. So that one's cool. Oh, I really like this one too. Uh, it's another one I think I got from Dylan Day. I could be wrong. Maybe it was Joey Landreth. I stole it from somebody though. I don't know. Maybe I came with it. I don't know. But, uh, so it's dominant seven with a flat nine down here. It's a lot like that. Uh, reminds me of that. Where you can kind of make it a uh, diminished kind of a sound too. there oh this one's hard but if you can get it so it's like a dominant 7 sharp 11th in this position I'll show you an easier voicing for it in a second but so some of these are uh, to me anyway on this side of the slide or this side of the bar rather pretty frightening sounds um, the other easy one is get the dominant 7 down here on the low A string so an easy thing to remember so check it out the high string the high D and the middle D, um, and the same goes for the high A and the low A, any of those chord, uh, chord tones, you can always move to the lower string, and it's in the same spot. All like that, that, that kind of helps me visualize it a little bit. But cool, so for a dominant seven on the other side, going the other way, the first go-to shape is this one, so. This one's a lot easier uh, to start getting some of those extensions. All it is is first finger on the fifth fret of the D string, and then take your third and fourth finger, and kind of complete that bar. Um, first easy thing you can do is raise your pinky up one fret, get the sharp five. I like that one. Uh, you can go the other way and get the sharp eleventh, but you kind of have to move those two fingers. But that one's an easier sharp eleven sound than trying to grab this one all the time. Helps. Oh yeah, the diminished. 
finish one. Um, so in my position, the go-to one for this one is just... So it's like take uh, the minor shape you had before and then flat the fifth as well. So it's just a diminished triad. I almost always just use this as a passing chord though. Like... to get through that one real quick because the next lesson I want to do um, I'm probably gonna release I don't know maybe you guys can let me know what you want to get to first but I wanted to put together a lesson that's like uh, some soloing shapes and boxes that I use so fingers, at least for me anyway, in this in this tuning. Um we're gonna do like major stuff. But anyway, we'll save that for another lesson. But cool, let's uh get through this. Let me know if you got any questions and we'll move on from there. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.